This is called our quotient rule. And here again, the quotient meaning we have a division problem. But this one is talking about if we are dividing the same bases. So some number raised to a power divided by that same number raised to a power. And I say number, it could be a variable also. What we're supposed to do then is to actually subtract those exponents. So the way that I say this is when we divide like bases, we subtract the exponents. Now let's see why this works. If we were to write out what x to the 6 truly means, that means x times x times x times x times x times x, six of them there, over x squared would be x times x. Now if you'll remember um, from just fraction rules, we can cancel out common factors on top and bottom. Because if you think about it, things like 5 over 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So what we're doing when we cancel those is we're really dividing it out of both the numerator and the denominator. Well in this case we have a common pair of x's on the top and bottom that we can cancel out. And then we also have another common pair of x's on top and bottom, so we can cancel those out. So now the only thing we have left are these x's here on top. So I've got x multiplied to itself four times, so that's x to the fourth. Now if we use the rule, the rule says when you're dividing like bases, you subtract the exponents. So I am dividing like bases here because I've got x to the sixth over x squared. So the, my answer then will be the base, which in this case is x, raised to the subtract the powers. And 6 minus 2 is 4. So it absolutely works. Now let's work a couple of examples here. Here we have x to the 8th, y to the 6th, over x, y to the 5th. Everything on top is being multiplied, and everything on bottom is being multiplied. That means that we could have a lot more freedom to be able to work with these now. So um, what we could do to help you be able to see this a little bit better is we could actually break this up. That would be x to the 8th over x times y to the 6th over y to the 5th. We could literally do that because remember, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So if you can multiply and put them together, we should always also be able to break them apart um, and mean the exact same thing. Now we don't have to do this every time, I just wanted you to be able to see that it was possible and why we can work with things the way we can. Now, we have x to the 8th over x. We are dividing like bases, so we are supposed to be able to subtract those exponents. This exponent is an understood 1, so that means we have x to the 8 minus 1, which is 7th power, times, and then here we have, again, we're dividing like bases, so we're supposed to be able to subtract the exponents. So we'll have y to the 6 minus 5 would be 1 power. Now we can rewrite that a little bit nicer and just say x to the 7th y. For the next example, I'm not going to separate them out like I did this one. We're going to go ahead and do this, um, you know, the, the proper way. We're going to look at numbers first and then each one of the letters. So 7 over 14. Isn't it true that we can um, cancel out a common factor of 7 on top and bottom? 7 goes into 7 once and it goes into 14 two times. And then so we have a 2 on bottom and a 1 on top left over. Now as far as our x's, we've got x squared on top, x squared on bottom, that's a common factor. That's the exact same thing on top and bottom. We can cancel that out. And then as far as our y's, we are dividing like bases, so we can subtract the exponents. So that's going to be y to the 6 minus 3, which is 3 power. It would be better to write it as y cubed over 2. 